Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Knott's Berry Farm, Buena Park, California. I am here with the wifey and with the little guy. <laughs> and we are here to finish up our last remaining coupons for the Boys and Berry Festival. The Boys and Berry Festival runs from March 18th to April 24th. And as of today's recording, today is the 23rd. So it ends tomorrow. So we have three more coupons that we're going to use. And I don't know what we're gonna use them on, but there's plenty of food locations. There's like nine different food locations around the park. So maybe we'll find something that we didn't try last time and we'll eat some yummy food. And just by the look of the parking lot, it is packed jammed today. It is spring break, it is a Saturday. So we're probably not gonna stay for too long, but while we're here, we'll get as much done as we can. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, click that bell notification icon so you never miss any future uploads. Let's get this adventure started. All right, we finally made it in the park. Let's see how busy it is. It's a really pretty area right here. Take all all the pictures you want. Where would you like to go first, buddy? Are you hungry? You want to get something to eat? All right, let's get something to eat. Those were some big boysenberries if they were real. This is the original boysenberry stand was located on Beach Boulevard. Did you guys know that? Until 1927 when the permanent berry market was built. Look at that. I learned something new today. How cool is that? An actual photo from 1927. Well, I can always kind of gauge how busy the park is by checking out the ride time for Ghost Rider. Currently, 135 minutes is the wait for Ghost Rider. I won't be riding Ghost Rider again today. I'm sad, but what can you do? Well, Mr. Bear, no Ghost Rider today, but what are you going to do? Howdy, partner. <laughs> so we are going inside. This long line here, this is actually for alcohol, if you want an alcohol. But if you just want to use your coupons, come right over here. And here's one for chicken and dumplings. one over here it is for a salad and a chicken for sole. That sounds good too. Both sound yummy. I think we're going to try some dumplings. Oh, okay. What's that? Top? Yes, please. On top, um, on top is fine. Great, thank you. So we just got some chicken and dumplings. I think wifey's gonna eat that. I'll try it. 
Um, but I'm gonna get some pasole because I love me some good pasole. So check this out. This is my chicken pozole. And this is interesting. So they are the actual boysenberries. I'm very curious to try just a straight boysenberry. And there are the spring rolls. All right, so I have never had just a straight boysenberry by itself. I've had raspberries, blueberries, but not just a straight boysenberry. It tastes like a blackberry. Yeah, I mean, those ones are almost frozen, so it's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, it's kind of like a blackberry, which, I mean, a, kind of like what a boysenberry is. It's like a blackberry, blueberry, and a ra raspberry, strawberry, all the berries <laughs> combined into one. But it really just tastes like a blackberry. So how is this? This is the spring roll. How is it? Dumpling. <laughs> Not spring roll. I'm sorry, it's dumpling. dumpling. Spring roll. Pretty good. All right, let me try some. Let's see what's going on here. It's yummy. I don't know if you're going to like it because oh, it's, it's good. sweet. It's good. But I like this. It's sweet, the teriyaki sauce, but you can get the teriyaki sauce on the side if you want. You want to try the rice. And the rice? See, that's a good vlogging partner when you're vlogging and they just feed you, you know? That's good. <laughs> The rice pilaf is it's good. It just tastes like regular like rice pilaf. But the um, the dumpling is very tasty. Yeah. So now for the pasole. Um, kind of a weird huge piece right there. Put that to the side. Um, put some uh, put some lemon in it. Me personally, I prefer lime, but that's all good. And I definitely like chips in my pasole as well. So I'm gonna put that in there. This is gonna be so weird to try it with a boysenberry. I've never, I mean, it just doesn't seem like something that would work, chicken pasole with boysenberry, but I guess we're about to find out, right? All right, so chicken pasole with boysenberry. Take one. Okay, so I can say that the pasole is very good. Boysenberries have no place in pasole. I don't, no, no, it just, the flavors of the boysenberry are, are very sweet. It's a berry and then you got that, that nice zesty, you know, not spicy, but that just creamy pasole taste of a good Mexican soup, and it just doesn't go well with a sweet berry. So, pasole good, put the boys and berries on the side. Here is Mr. Walter Knott himself. And Mrs. Knott, the ones that made it all happen. Now this is a boysenberry mudslide. It is alcoholic, and you can use your coupon for it. I also have a 
like a boysenberry beer. They just put a shot of whatever that is. I'm not sure. Let's see, boysenberry lager. Okay, so it's like a little bit of beer. And then you can get that drink. Oh, and there's another drink. There's one with the mudslide. And then the other one is like a punch. They mix the punch with the beer. Oh, tough decision. Which one? They both look good. So the line for the alcoholic beverage was like a 30 minute wait. So that's a little too long for me to wait for, for a beverage. It doesn't look like they were putting too much alcohol in it either. So as refreshing as it looked, I think I could find something better else to do with my time. Like, find where to use my last coupon. Look at these cute little boysenberry plush animals. Not animals. <laughs> it's not an animal. It's a boysenberry plush berry. Check-in series. Not berry farm. Series one. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to do this? Oh, okay. It's like a, it's like a game. You like toss those in the baskets. Okay. Mikhail is going to try to toss those into the bucket, which I I don't think is going to work out very well unless unless we help him out. <laughs> so you pay for whatever size prize you want to win. Small, medium, or large. I think that's the small, and I'm like, that's the mega size right there. Okay. Go! Oh, oh! Actually, did a lot better than I thought. Oh my goodness! I didn't know you could throw that far. Throw it! Oh, no, very. Oh. oh, 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 oh! Oh, that's that's Chinny. You got it. <laughs> you did it. Hey, work work smarter, not harder. Oh, he almost actually got that one. Do it again. Oh, so close. Hey, hey, hey! He got one. He got one. <laughs> oh, right. oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Oh, this, this kid is smart. He is smart. Oh, good job. Yay. Yay. Good job. Oh, you get a prize? All right. Thank you. I recorded this in the last video, but they sell boysenberry plants here. So if you want to buy buy a plant and grow your own boysenberries, there you go. Wow, that's a lot of gear he has on. It's pretty hot today, so I can imagine how hot he is. <laughs> oh my, he snuck up on you, Snoopy. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Say yeah, hi, Snoopy. Hi. Don't worry, I think he's okay. Let's look over here, bud. Big smiles. Bouncing buggy thing. Are we ready? Here we go. Whoa! Hold on to the steering wheel. Hold on here. Here we go! Oh, 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 oh. 
Bounciest car.
noticed on the side of this whole building is if you look on the brick, like people made it. And I don't know the backstory behind that. If any of you know what the backstory is on, on the names within the bricks and the buildings here, let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious. wireless microphone died on me so voice over marty here i go put my ticket in the box get in my little corn have that nice boysenberry sauce all over it looks delicious and here i go it's um it's not uh, it's already cooked and they steam it they Put it on the grill just to kind of warm it up and yeah um rub it in the sauce and and give it a go here so yeah here it goes bon appetit now right off the bat i was like eh, it's all right you know <laughs> clearly a taste that I was not used to and I was just like eh it's just so so you know the uh there's butter and mayonnaise and I was just kind of like eh I really wasn't sure but I'd say go ahead and, and give it a try but as I continued further into it I was very very surprised that the taste really grew on me and i ended up actually loving this corn it was probably one of my favorite items and originally i would say i would have given it a two out of five what ended up at the end actually being a five out of five it was delicious if you're there and you see this you definitely got to get it the cheese the butter, everything just gelled perfectly. And uh, I'm still thinking about it. I actually want to go back and get another one. It was so good. Yeah. Dig in. It was yummy. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly when I said, I stand corrected. This was so good. Everything worked out so good with this, this item. The line was crazy to get it. So let that be a lesson. If there's a long line, usually it's good. Now I gotta figure out how to get all those little corn kernels out of my teeth. <laughs> awesome. If you didn't know that boysenberry punch that you get at the soda dispensers at Not Spray Farm, you can also buy the syrup for it all over the place uh, most of the gift shops have it of course wifey wanted it and they have it in sugar-free and in uh, regular so i got the sugar-free one but she wanted to get the uh, the regular one as well so bam there comes the second one i think they were nine dollars and fifty cents each so not too horrible um, you mix it like pretty much uh, one third syrup to uh, two thirds water ice and yeah you got yourself your boysenberry punch there they have boysenberry uh, ketchups and hot sauces and all all sorts of boysenberry stuff um, so yeah some of the flavors uh, work I'd say most of the flavors work but 
Now you can get your boysenberry punch and have it at home. This is one of my favorite places to eat the, uh, the barbecue, the barbecue spot, but the line was just crazy. It went all the way to the back and around the corner. That was probably at least an hour and a half line to get some barbecue. Too much for me. And no, no trip to Knott's Berry Farm can ever be complete without a visit to Mr. Horse. I love them. I love them so much. They are so beautiful. If I was rich, I would have a ranch with many horses. Look how gorgeous he is. Or she is. I don't know. But so majestic. I love them. You guys know what these are? I don't know if it was a. I don't. It's not a. a it's not a donkey, and it's not a goat. Or maybe it is a goat. Is it a goat donkey? I'm not sure. The, the ears look like a donkey, but a donkey's bigger. It has the face of a donkey, but I don't know. It, these guys are definitely goats, and. I was just busting up laughing. They're just up here on this like block, totally posing for the cameras. They're like straight up movie stars. Here's this one like, no, nah, I'm gonna get some attention from you. <laughs> but these other ones are just like in the spotlight. I'm like, I'll pet you. <laughs> I'll pet you little guy. Yes, yeah, don't eat my finger. Please don't eat my finger. <laughs> and they're just like, I will just stand here and take it all in in the spotlight. Autographs are welcome. And then this little guy's like, all right, you guys can't get all the spotlight for yourselves. I got to get in here. I got to get some, some camera time too. Scratch my head while I'm at it. I didn't want to say it, but when a park, Knott's Berry Farm, there's always something. Always something going on. Hey y'all, so quick pro tip. If you want to get out of the hustle and bustle and sometimes like today, pretty ghetto atmosphere of inside Knott's Berry Farm, there's this nice little hidden gem. Look at this. This is the lagoon, which is right across the street from Beach Boulevard. You cross the street, cross the street over on this side. You'll see right over here, right there. That's the entrance to the water park, the Soak City. And right in front of it is this beautiful and peaceful lagoon. Right here, you have Independence Hall, not the one in Philadelphia, but the one here in Buena Park, California. So you have Independence Hall, you have some beautiful, just shaded picnic tables there, right across the lagoon. More shaded picnic tables over there. And look, there's nobody here. And the park is packed today. Like 100% capacity, at least that's the way it feels, packed. So if you wanna get away from all that and just have a little bit of peace, come to the lagoon, right across the street from Knott's Berry Farm. It's really nice, very peaceful. I'm gonna come here more often. So I found the perfect spot to do this outro. Look, there's some like, there's some like right there, there, there. Like beautiful, like white geese. We had to leave the park early because it was just too crazy in there today. Just way too packed. Um, yeah, and it was getting kind of ghetto to be honest with you, so. I just decided to leave early. So I know this was a little bit more of a, a shorter video. Uh, not too short, but definitely not, <laughs> not too long for you guys. Used up the last three of our coupons for the Boysenberry Festival. The last day of it is tomorrow, the 24th. Don't worry if you missed it, it'll be back next year. Every year they have the Boysenberry Festival. The food was really good. I would say some of the flavors maybe didn't go with a few select dishes but for the most part they went together really really good so I was 
very pleased with uh, with some of the dishes that, that I had. And it really wasn't too horribly expensive. We went on one bouncy ride with the kiddo. He seemed to like it, but that line just to get on that bouncy ride was about an hour. So like I said, it was just crazy today. Ghost Rider was uh, almost a three hour wait. Hang time, uh, almost a two hour wait. So it was just bonkers today. The barbecue place that I always like to eat at, at least a two hour wait. And it is very hot today. 80 degrees, but it feels like it's 90 degrees. So whew, that is it for today's visit at Knott's Berry Farm. And that ends our 2022 Boysenberry Festival. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Once again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe somewhere around here. Click the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I will put a link to some videos of Knott's Berry Farm here, here, however it uploads. That's all I got for you today. Make sure you stay tuned because in a week, we are going on an Alaskan cruise. Oh my goodness. You want to talk about a lot of footage and a lot of videos? That is up to come. So again, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you're it will notify you when I put up a new video. The style of that is going to be day one, day two, day three, where we're at, what we're doing. We're gonna start off in beautiful Vancouver, Canada, and then head on to the cruise. Eight night, nine day cruise up to Alaska. We're gonna check out some glaciers and I'm being called over here. What is happening over here, here, here? <gasps> There's turtles. Turtles. Hi, turtles. Turtles. <laughs> Hi, turtles. Turtles and fish. Hopefully you stayed to the end of this video so you could see that. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I will see you next time in the corner and on our next adventure. Peace. I know. Look I at know. the turtles and the fish. one more reason to come and check out this cool lagoon. I don't even know, you need to go into Knott's Berry Farm. We'll just hang out here all day. <laughs> you do want to go swimming? I don't know about that. Not here, baby. Look at all these turtles. Good night, turtles. Good night.